Foxes. Golfing. Golfing foxes. What more could you need in a shirt? I mean, I got nothing. Hey guys, what's up? It's Morgan here, and uh, I'm back for another video. Today I am subbing in for Haley. The topics for this week are one, things that helped us when we were coming out, like movies, books, novels, or just anything, anything that helped us come out. The second topic of this week is to talk about what it is like if you have other members of the LGBT community in your family. And if you don't, how did it affect you, positive or negative? Would it have helped if you did have members of the LGBT community in your family? It's kind of crazy, but I, I personally don't have any family members that are gay or that identify anything other than straight. Even as far as gender expression, girls wear dresses and boys wear boy clothes. Like, there's not really members that go outside of that um, gender norm. So, it was hard for me to find myself and to express myself in the way that I wanted because there was no one else in my family to look up to. And it, it, it's 100% fact that it would have made it easier if I did have just at least one other member of my family identify openly as, you know, anything <laughs> other than, you know, straight or to express their gender in a different way other than than what's the norm. So it, it absolutely would have helped because it's hard to be almost like the one that is different and the one that stands out as far as the way you look and the way you identify yourself as. So since I couldn't look to my family, what did I look to to find someone that was like me, so that I, I felt normal, so that I felt like I could come to terms with myself and be accepting of myself. The first thing that I found and the first kind of media that um, exposed me to the LGBT community was a TV show, uh, Degrassi. I used to watch that all the time as a kid. Uh, it, it was my favorite show. I mean, it, I still watch it. There's this character, Marco, and, and he, was, he was gay. There's this character, Paige, in the later years, she, like, you know, started um, dating this girl. And then I was like, oh, okay. Like, that's interesting. So that was, like, kind of, I mean, I, I started watching that show probably when I was, like, maybe 11. And that was kind of my, my first way of being exposed to the community. I mean, it sounds cliche, but watching The L Word really did make me realize that it's not so abnormal. It's not so weird. Uh, to be a lesbian or to like girls or to identify as a lesbian. Like watching that show and just seeing the group of girls and seeing how it was just, it was so normal. It was just treated as a normal thing. Uh, it, it really did help me just accept myself for who I am. I mean, I went through a phase where I, I pretty much watched anything that had to do with lesbians. <laughs> like anything that had it at I mean, it, it could have been one lesbian couple and the rest of the show was just about nothing. Um, I, I would watch it. I watched it. Um, the L Word. The real L Word. Lip Service. Grey's Anatomy. Uh, Skins UK. Of the Fosters I started watching just because of that. Then I, I, I found Tumblr. <laughs> and there were so many women on there who were lesbian and who dressed masculine and who had short hair. And I was like, whoa, okay, like, there are lesbians my age who dress masculine and have short hair. Because I never really dressed feminine, but I'd never had short hair because I was always afraid and, and that feeling of abnormality and, you know, that, that constant feeling of, of being different and being abnormal and feeling like you're the only one. Anything you can do, anything you can watch, anything you can see that that is going to boost your self-confidence and make you feel less alone and make you feel like you're not the only one that's like this. That's going to help you, especially if you don't have any family that identifies as being gay. Something like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, that's my video for this week, guys. I love you all, and you all are amazing. And if you want to follow me on any of my social networks, my links will be in my pants. Subscribe to Lesbian Central. Love you. Kisses. <laughs> Alright guys. Peace.